There was a company at NAM this year that I've been familiar with for a little while, and uh, in fact, I live within an hour of uh, it. I'm here right now. And just due to the nature of the booth, because it was part of the boutique showcase at NAM, which is just kind of tables that fit three guitars each, I couldn't do as in-depth of a video on the guitars as I wanted to. So I have now made the pilgrimage out to STS Guitars, an hour and a half away from where I live, and the owner behind STS Guitars, Mr. Jonas, is going to join me, um, right now. <laughs> and here he is, and here is his latest creation, the STS Fuji, and uh, that's that, that guitar is what the video is about today, because it's rather expensive, and, and I would like to get to the bottom of why it is as expensive as it is, and uh, have a little bit of a conversation about if, if that's worth it. And I, I'd like to include you in that conversation, but you know, finish the video before typing angry comments, please. All right, so Jonas is gonna let uh, me and you in on, uh, first of all, like what goes into building a guitar like this, how long it takes, and also just why it is priced the way that it is, because $8,000 is not cheap. So um, for all my guitars, I always try to build them or I build them as high spec and high end and as high quality as I can build them. So what does it mean? It means that the craftsmanship in general is um, up where the best are so that you feel um, at home and feel that it's a really easy to play, nice to touch guitar. And um, for that, you know, a lot of uh, hours go into making that. I mean, all the others have uh, machines that do all the routing and all that. So you save a lot of cost to that. But from there, it starts where it distinguishes from a guitar to a good guitar to a fantastic or absolutely great guitar, which is a playing experience that I still think no machine in this world can create. This has to be man-made, so to say. That is kind of the standard that all my guitars are built to, the, the best that uh, you can get. And um, starting from there, all the components that I source are as local as I can get them, which is uh, good because made in Germany stuff is most uh, of the time also high quality. Most of the things here come uh, from Germany. If I can't source it in Germany, it actually comes from uh, Europe or some parts come from Japan, like the truss rod, which is also titanium truss rod because of the weight of the guitar being that low. It was a bit of a challenge to balance it. All my guitars, no matter if they have an ash body and, and locking tuners, are as light as I can build them with a headstock and still be balanced when playing standing up. Some of you may not know that issue because you're only playing seated. Guitar player that uh, plays with a, a, a strap or uh, plays live, uh, you always have um, to have a guitar that is balanced. It's so much easier to play. Therefore, uh, I for this guitar specif uh, specifically, I had to reduce the weight of the neck and everything that is uh, on it. That means we have a titanium truss rod. I always only use stainless steel frets because they uh, last a lot longer. For this model in particular, I have um, titanium housing tuners, open back tuners with uh, coated stainless steel gears and posts and, and all that. So these are as lightweight as I can get them with also um, getting rid of the wood screw. There's no wood screw on my guitar. There's only threaded inserts and uh, machine screws. And um, why is that? Well, it lasts longer. It can be removed and uh, can be um, placed on the guitar again and retightened to the same specification and quality as if uh, it's new. There is that. Um, but then also, you, you also built this. Yes. This is also one of your guitars. It's this awesome. has... There's, there are no wood screws in the back, at least not in the back either. Uh, these are also threaded, you know, bolts and all that, uh, which is great. What makes this not 8,000? 
is 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 my question, and not just my question, uh, also yeah. everybody else's question, because this is well, uh, this is how much. So this particular one would be three thousand six hundred. That is less than half. What gives? It's it's hard to to tell you all the details, but let's say the tuners on this guitar cost more than all the hardware and and everything that is not wood on this guitar. And still, if I if I chose the ones with the high quality al aluminum housing, it's still a little more than all the hardware on this guitar. Um, for, for reference, uh, these are Godo Shala something. Shala M6 pin, so also no wood screw and locking. Shala bridge. Shala locking tuners. Yes, yeah, that's frets, Heusel pickups, Shala mega switch, high quality um, potentiometer, a switchcraft barrel jack, and and all that. So it's as high spec still as I as you would expect a regular electric guitar to be. For a second, let's just get into the actual specs of the Fuji because there is also something that makes that guitar unique in a way that I like. But I didn't think I would like, and also it, like it, it just seems it seems off-putting looking at it. It's it's it doesn't look right. Place your bets. What 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 am I talking about? What what looks off about it, huh? Because you I mean you know I love one pickup guitars, but that's not what I mean by that. <laughs> I think there's a type of player for for every guitar, and I watched uh, a million videos on on YouTube on more jazz-oriented playing, blues-oriented playing, and uh, I have to say that most of the time all I saw was a switch put on neck pickup. And that's it. With that intention that I had for this guitar, it was uh, for sure more oriented towards that kind of playing. And then I said, well, the look itself is also completely different with just one neck pickup. And therefore, let's go with that as a first introduction. It doesn't mean that there's no way to not build one with two pickups or three pickups or whatever. It's just that, um, well, for this first model, I thought that this is a great idea and tailors towards the use that you would normally see for such a guitar. Right, so uh, I suppose this is very, very targeted towards a certain kind of player because in the same way that I love and, and sort of collect single pickup guitars, but you know, ones with the pickup and the bridge, because I don't need a neck pickup to play leads and a lot of the time I actually prefer the kind of sharper sound of, of the bridge pickup, uh, this is that, but just the other way around, because jazz people don't like bridge pickups, apparently. I'm not a jazz cat, I don't know. Let's see what it sounds like. By the way, the rig I'm using is a uh, diesel Hagen amp, and that's just plugged straight into Universal Audio Aux, and I think the rig that that's set to is like a Greenback V30 or Creamback V30, something like that, just like I have at home, minus the diesel amp, because that's too expensive. <laughs> One feature that I, I just noticed, I didn't actively notice it while playing, but I suppose it's probably one of the reasons why it feels so nice, is that, what was it called again? I'm sorry. I call it Edge Scallop. Edge Scallop, okay. So, um, you know the way, like if you just 
if you play a Fender Strat from the 60s or something, just anything that's been played heavily for decades, the edges of the fretboard will just kind of be worn off from your fingers rubbing against them for like a couple of fucking decades. This is that, except this guitar is brand new, but it was just kind of very subtly scalloped in a way that I'm not sure I can actually capture on camera for you to see but I am gonna do my best. It's something that you don't notice, again, unless you look at it. You notice it passively, in that it just feels very, very nice to play, and it has that vintage feel to it, uh, which I, I like how this thing kind of blends vintage and modern features as well, because it does have a spoke wheel truss rod adjustment. But we still haven't gotten to the bottom of why it is $8,000, because, well, that, that's, that's, a, that's a chunk of money, man. My, my car costs three. More money than I'd spend on a guitar, but that doesn't, uh, that also, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a rich jazz prick, you know? I mean, so, no, someone's, someone's gonna spend that much money. Sure, why not? There, there's PRS guitars for 14 grand. Those sell like hotcakes. You just gotta find the right dentist. How long did you spend building this thing? Like, just time dedicated to it? I built this guitar only for the last uh, three months prior to NAMM show. When I registered for the NAMM show, I said, okay, I have to present something new. And that's, uh, I had that design kind of worked out already. And um, then I built specifically this guitar. So it took exactly that time until NAMM show. It was finished one week earlier. And then we took pictures, then we presented it to the world. That is three dedicated months. Like if I say a video took me a, a week or a month to make, I don't mean like I spent that week or month from nine to five every day just working on that video. This is like, this is actual time dedicated to nothing else. And um, that is sort of where most of the price comes from because I forgot already, but you, you, you mentioned how much like the, just the raw materials and the hardware and all that stuff cost you? Over a thousand dollars of the hardware and everything that I use uh, and that's without uh, tax or anything. Yeah. This is the best channel for transparency, ladies and gentlemen. I've, I'm squeezing all this information out of them. Yeah, well, but, you ask, and, uh, and, and it, is, it is easy. For, for most of the people, they can just check what's a set of tuners cost. Okay, a set of shuttle tuners, I don't know, 100 euro, 120 euros, the, one that I, the ones that I purchased. This pickup, you can go to the website, you can find out what it costs. The bridge from ABM in Berlin, you can find out how much it costs. You don't know which potentiometers I use or stuff like that, or that I use a, a tone capacitor made in Germany that's also already 25 euros, and uh, all of that, you know. But you you don't know the, the tuner. Uh, uh, pause. Uh, interruption. Twenty. What? Yes, I, I actually also um, uh, wired it in a way that you can see it. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I can, yeah. I can right. see it through it looks, the through the. Quite, quite cool here. Yeah. Uh, the white and the gold. You can just also read the the brand, which is Mundorf, which is kind of the highest spec uh, capacitors that you can get. Normally, they are used in um, the most expensive hi-fi applications. Ouch. I don't know. That, that's a lot of money for it. I don't actually put those in. Like whenever I change out pickups and, and parts in a guitar, I don't actually put uh, capacitors in. Maybe I should. I just don't. I've, I've survived thus far. It's been fine. Uh, I don't actually know what those do. I'm not an electrician. <laughs> Well, it's the first time I apply a tone circuit for a guitar as well, because this type of guitar ha has to have one. That's what I found out in my research, you know. Then I said, okay, if I do it, how do I do it? So I do it wiring wise and choice of component wise differently. I don't go vintage correct, which would be maybe even more expensive, but there is sometimes no quality behind the component. So what I purchase is the best quality that I can get without necessarily being vintage correct because everything once it's vintage correct or uh, tailored towards this is a guitar thing it's it just slaps on money uh, that, that you pay for not getting more quality <coughs> gibson yeah so uh, by the way uh, link in the description to buy this or like, if, if in just in case you you want to like if, if you've just you know if, if you're a dentist and you've been having a good couple of months i guess uh yeah link in the description you can also buy the other ones they are also available and and cost about half of this thing. Oh, by the way, th th there's, listen to the seven string because yeah, I've, I've shown this thing now, but this is like the opposite of, of what it usually builds, by the way, like this, this is the complete other end of the spectrum.
So that was the uh, seven string. What's the, what's that model called? Sumo. Because it's a heavyweight. Ah, <laughs> there, there you go, man. These are all. Oh yeah, you you you, you explained the Fuji name in the uh, the Nam video, but just do it again. The reference is to the to the um, Mount Fuji, so the, the summit, which is like the perfect. Uh, yeah mountain and uh, as this is a, a carved top uh, i thought that well this kind of matches and it's just uh, beautiful to look at and uh, this i think is also a carved top that's just beautiful to look at as all my uh, my uh, models have japanese references that was a, a logical conclusion for me i wouldn't buy this but that's also because i am very 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 uncomfortable in the area musically that this thing kind of forces you to play like i actually memorized the couple of chord progressions for the demo when i was when i was at home because i'm so so very insecure and uncomfortable in that area of music but maybe that means i should have something like this so i'm not going to give you a definitive answer of whether or not this is worth eight thousand dollars because objectively I, I, I don't know i don't know it's not just debate in the comments if you want to you're all gonna say no but that's because you're all none of you have eight thousand dollars for a guitar i relate to that i understand i also do not <laughs> otherwise it would be mine sound off in the comments you know what, what do you think would not would you pay for it or, or is it worth it to you but do you think this is worth eight thousand dollars if not what, what would you pay for it that should be interesting I yeah. bet you're you're looking forward to those comments. Well, what would you pay for this? Again, three months of work, like probably one thousand to like twelve hundred of just components. How much would you like to be paid if you spent three months dedicated to a project? That's just, just put yourself put yourself in his shoes. Thank you for watching. Somewhere on his head is probably going to be like a subscribe button or a different video. Uh, hit either of those if you want to. Like, leave a comment. Definitely leave a comment. You you really should. I want to hear your opinions. Yeah. And uh, affiliate links for the rig in the description, links to buy these as well. I'll see you around.